Hey there, Emmanuel here from WebDevFuel and in today's video we're going to go over exactly how to use PubSub which is the publish subscribe pattern in Phoenix Live View. Now if you're not aware exactly of what the PubSub pattern is, it basically means that instead of having a publisher that directly sends a message to a subscriber, you have basically a channel that receives all the, pub uh, the publishing messages and then subscribers can subscribe to it and they don't really need to have uh, basically uh, awareness of each other's existence and you simply basically subscribe uh, to an information that you want to receive inside your application and then you publish that information and whatever part of your code subscribe to it will receive the information and you can then process it. So that's basically what we're going to use inside of Phoenix Live View in order to be able to talk between two uh, Live View instances or modules. So with that said, let's hop on the computer to get started. So I've gone ahead and built a very simple application that's basically a counter application using Phoenix Live View and as you can see each time that we click on the plus button it increases by one and each time that we click on the minus button it decreases by one. And I've also gone ahead and built here a sidebar that I've built with Alpine.js and in case you're wondering how you can build dynamic things like a sidebar or a modal. I've done a video also that I leave in the comments below and in the top right corner that goes exactly over how you can build a modal using Alpine.js with Phoenix Live View. But basically I've built this sidebar that will also house here the counter value which at the moment does not reflect the counter value that's right over here and our goal is to make this value right over here also change each time that it changes here and we also want to make the following happen which is we want each time that we click on the reset counter we also want the counter to reset right over here now like i just explained before our goal is basically to have this live view module right over here which is the sidebar and the counter uh, basically communicate with each other and have data exchanging between them and as you can see right over here we have a simple uh, template right here that's being rendered from a controller and then we pass here the function the function of live render we pass the connection and then we set here the counter live module and we also pass here the counter value which is assigned at the controller level and we do the exact same thing for the sidebar live now let's navigate to the counter live module so I can show you exactly what's happening right here. As you can see we have our uh, function that mounts uh, the socket and then assigns the counter of zero which is again the value that we pass from the controller. We also have two events that we're handling which is the increased counter that increases by one the, the value of the counter until infinity and we also have the decrease counter event which decreases in case it is not zero and in case it is zero it again basically stays at zero forever because we don't want the counter to go below zero and as you can see this is the html that's producing the the output that we see on this page and it basically it says here that we want to display the counter value and then we pass here on click the decrease counter uh, event so this is the minus button and we do the same thing for the increase counter now let's navigate to the sidebar live module and as you can see we simply have a function that mounts the socket with the counter value that we again pass from the controller which by default it is zero and this is the html that is basically producing what you can see right over here it basically says that we want to also show the counter value which stays zero because we still are not connecting this counter live with this sidebar live and then we have here a button that still doesn't do anything which we're going to be using in order to reset the counter to zero once we click on it. Now we can go ahead and close all of these files so we can go over exactly what you need to do in order to set up PubSub into, uh, inside your Phoenix Live View project. The project that I'm working with right now was scaffolded using the Phoenix command line tool that they provide us. So because of that and because I've passed the option of live, it means that all of the things that we need not only to set up a Phoenix Live View project but also PubSub were automatically done for me. But if that's not your case, we're going to go over exactly everything that we need right now in order for you to set up PubSub with your Phoenix Live View project. The first step is to navigate to the mix.exs files which is where we basically define all the dependencies for the project 
and you want to add the following dependency which as you can see right over here it is phoenix pub sub and then the latest version which is 2.0 but in my case i'm going to delete this because just like i told you i've set up this project using the phoenix command line tool that they provide us in order to scaffold an application using the live option which means that i don't need this right over here Next, let's navigate to the config.exs file and we need to add the following, which is as you can see right over here, pub sub server, and then we need to define here the module of the pub sub, which in our case, in the, the case of this project that I'm working with, uh, this is the module name that I've defined, which is pub sub.example, and then the sub module will be pub sub. And finally, let's navigate to the application.ex file and we need to add uh, finally the following which is inside the def the the start function and on the children as you can see right over here it is as i've said automatically added for me when i scaffolded this project but you need to add the following which is phoenix.pubsub and then the name um, of the pubsub module which again is going to be the same one that we defined right over here which in this case is pubsub example dot pubsub. Now let's go ahead and close all of these files and navigate to our sidebar live module. And we first of all need to do the following. The first step is for us to subscribe inside this module to the uh, data that is going to come from the counter module. Now, in order to do that, we need to first of all write the following. First, we need to write Phoenix, then we need to access the pubsub module and then the subscribe function. Now inside the subscribe function, first of all, we need to pass our pub sub module that we just defined on our configuration. Now, in order to do that, simply uh, pass here pub sub example dot pub sub, which is the same thing that we added to our configuration and to the application dot ex file. And finally, we need to pass here the topic, which is basically a string that we're going to define uh, in order for us to then communicate once we publish information to this um, to this module that is now subscribing. So we'll call this one uh, update counter. Next, we need to add a function that is going to allow us to receive the information that is sent from the channel that is again published from the counter live module. Now, the function that we're going to be using is the handle info function that has two parameters which the first one we're going to be using the first one is message and we're going to be passing update counter and then we're going to grab the counter value and then the second param is the socket so we need to pass the socket so that we can then assign the new value which is what we're going to do right now so in order to do that we need to simply pass a no reply and then we need to assign to the socket, a counter, and then the counter value to the counter key. And I also need to add this right over here so this doesn't give an error. Now that we've subscribed to the update counter topic and we also have here the handle info function that is going to allow us to receive from the channel the exact value of the new counter and then we're going to be able to assign to the, uh, to the socket the new value. We can now go ahead and navigate to our counter live uh, file and we now need to add here the function that is going to allow us to broadcast the new counter value each time that we change it. Now let's start by adding first of all a private function so that we don't have to write this twice. So we'll add a private function that is called broadcast counter and then we'll pass here the counter value and then in here we need to do the following again we need to access the phoenix module then the pub sub module and instead of accessing now the subscribe function we need to access the broadcast function now here we need to first of all pass in here again our um our pub sub example that pub sub module which is our pub sub module and then we need to pass in here the topic, which again is update counter. And finally, we need to pass the message, which is update counter. And in here, we're going to pass the new counter value. And as you can see, this is now complaining because we have here a private function that is not in use. 
and what we're going to do right now is simply pass in here the, uh, the broadcast counter function and we're going to add as the first and only parameter our new counter value and we're going to do the same exact thing right over here in this case we don't really need because if it is already zero it stays zero and it doesn't change but in case it is not zero and we want it to update we're going to go ahead and update it now if we navigate back to our application as you can see if we open the sidebar again and we start increasing and decreasing the counter on the counter live module it also reflects on a sidebar live module now the next step is for us to subscribe here in the counter live module to a reset counter topic which will then allow us to receive from the channel messages from the sidebar live module so that we can then once we click on the sidebar uh, button that resets the timer it also resets here on the counter live module so let's go ahead and first of all add here phoenix dot pubsub dot subscribe and we're going to again subscribe to the pubsub example dot pubsub module so this is the sub the pubsub module and then the topic is going to be reset counter And next, just like with the sidebar live module, we need to add a handle info function where we are going to first of all pass here the message and the message is going to be reset counter and now since the counter is always going to reset to zero, we don't need to pass any kind of value, we'll simply pass the key of reset counter and we'll also pass in here the socket and after we receive this message, we're simply going to add here a no reply message and we're going to assign to the socket and to the counter key the new value of zero. And we also need to pass in here impl true. Now let's navigate to the sidebar live module to add a new function that is going to allow us to basically uh, reset the counter not only on this sidebar live module but also broadcast the message to let the counter live module know that it has been reset. Now let's start by first of all adding here a function of handle event then we'll pass here reset counter the value doesn't need to be any uh, we don't need to pass any values and then we're also going to pass as the third parameter the socket and then after that we simply need to do the same thing that we did before which is we need to pass here a no reply and then assign the socket then we'll pass the key of counter and then the value is going to be zero now this is going to handle everything that we need in order to update it on this sidebar live module but in order again to communicate with the counter live module we'll need to broadcast now since we are only going to write this broadcast function once we don't need to encapsulate it into another function so let's simply go ahead and write here phoenix.pubsub then we'll write, uh, use the broadcast function we'll simply pass pubsub example dot pubsub and then the topic is going to be again reset counter which is the one that we defined on the counter live module and then the message is simply going to have the key of reset counter since the value each time that we reset it we reset it back to zero so we don't need to pass inside the message the new value it is always zero so we can simply pass the key now let's navigate to the sidebar live html template so we can actually handle this event each time that we click on this button and in order to do that simply write phx click and then we'll write here reset counter which is the event name that we defined and basically this means that each time that we click on this button it is going to basically call this handle event function it is going to broadcast the new value to the counter live module and it is always uh, it is also going to update it uh, with the new value as we can see right over here on this sidebar live module and now if we navigate back to our application and we open the sidebar again 
as you'll be able to see, we start increasing the counter. Again, this reflects right over here on the live uh, on the sidebar live module each time that we change it. And now when we click here on the reset the counter, it is going to reset not only right over here on the sidebar live module, but also on the counter live module. I hope this video helped you better understand how to implement the PubSub pattern with a Phoenix Live View application. Now, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like below, let me know in the comments exactly what you liked about it and also subscribe for more content like this.